They won't admit that there were hidden cameras there. They but, won't. Oh, but there were for sure. I mean, that, I mean, that was it. That was the that was the audition. Hi, I'm Harry Hamlin, and this is my wildest audition story. The year is 1978, I believe, and uh, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas are casting about for a new movie they were going to make called Raiders of the Lost Ark, and they needed someone to play. What's his name in the movie? Indiana Jones. So I was on a short list of actors to come in and audition for Indiana Jones. Of course, we didn't have the script or anything like that. It was just go to his company, which was called the Egg Company on Uni Universal Lot, and uh, meet with Steven Spielberg and George Lucas and, and read with an actress who they thought would be an appropriate pairing. So I got there, and, and they had picked Stephanie Zimblist, Ephraim Zimblist's daughter, to be the pairing for me that day. When I got there, Stephen came down into the atrium of this beautiful building that had just been completed. He said, Harry, Stephanie, I'm so sorry, but George's plane is going to be late. He's coming flying down from San Francisco Francisco, and uh, it's going to be at least 45 minutes until he gets here. But here's the thing, Stephen said, listen, George loves chocolate cake. I, it might have been his birthday, I forget exactly what the excuse was, but Stephen said, come into the kitchen. And he had just built a brand new kitchen in, in the egg company, and it had, you know, it was absolutely spotless, a big island in the middle, completely brand new. And he said, listen guys. I want you to bake a chocolate cake for George. Uh, everything's here. It's all, all, all the ingredients are here. But please, you know, just if, if you could get it in the oven, by the time he gets here, he will be delighted. And I looked at Stephanie, and she looked at me, and he closed the door and left, and we were standing alone in this kitchen. And I, I said, Stephanie, have you, have you ever made a chocolate cake? And she said, no. And we started opening cupboards, and sure enough, there was sugar, there was flour, there was milk in the refrigerator, there were eggs, there was a bowl, there was a mixing thing. All the stuff was there, but it was along, along with everything else, too. But no recipe for how to make a cake. But we did spend half an hour, so 40, 40 minutes, talking while we were trying to figure out how to make a cake. And during that time, because Amy Irving had been a good friend of mine, I was talking about how Amy was calling her friend group in LA and saying that this guy, this director guy, was stalking her in New York, you know, and, and how she was kind of getting annoyed because this guy, Steven Spielberg, was like showing up at the stage door every night and with flowers and all this. And, and uh, it never occurred to me, 1978, it never occurred to me. I mean, this is before VHS. This is before you could go to the store and buy a video camera. It's before any of that never occurred to me that we were actually in the audition while we were making the cake. The place was bugged with cameras and microphones, and they were, George and Stephen were upstairs watching the, us make the cake. That was the audition, to see what our chemistry was like. Well, I'd been riffing on how, you know, annoying Steven Spielberg was to my friend Amy. So, hey, guess what? I didn't get the part, okay? And I've never worked with Steven Spielberg, and I, I grant you that I never will work with Steven Spielberg, and I never learned how to make a cake. To this day, I don't know how to make a cake. I can make a hell of a pie, but I don't know how to make a cake. That's a crazy story. Isn't that crazy? You know, they, to the, they won't admit that there were hidden cameras there. They won't. Oh, but there were for sure. I mean, that, I mean, that was it. That was the, that was the audition.